In this video, I'm going to talk about lion's mane dosage, side effects, and long-term use, and also how long does it actually take before lion's mane can actually work. Hi, I'm Dr. Legrand, so let's talk about the side effects first. Now, when it comes to research as far as side effects, there actually really isn't much research out there as far as what side effects lion's mane can cause. Even with the long-term studies, they haven't really seen any quite side effects. The ones that have come up is one, if you are allergic to mushrooms, there is common side effects that people will report of having rashes, as well as have a hard time breathing, but only if you actually are allergic to mushrooms. The other thing that lion's mane has shown is it does slow down blood clotting. So if you're taking any kind of like anticoagulants, antiplatelet medications, it can interact with those types of medications. So you should be careful with taking lion's mane because it has really shown slowing down blood clotting. Another interesting, I would say benefit, maybe not necessarily a side effect, but some people might look at this as a side effect with lion's mane is lion's mane does actually improve and increase REM sleep. So some people might report that they actually get nightmares, but really what it does is just helps with having more vivid dreams, remembering our dreams. So people might think, oh, I get lots of nightmares when really in reality, they actually are just remembering more dreams. It's not necessarily a side effect, I would say, but you're able to remember your dreams was really good because it actually improves REM sleep, which that's going to give you more quality of better sleep by taking lion's mane. The only research that I really saw where there was somewhat maybe some side effects that comes with lion's mane, and this had to do with in pill form, where they they found that the participants taking long-term use of lion's mane in pills, especially in higher dosage, end up having symptoms of upset stomach. Now, that can be common with a lot of different supplements across the board when you're taking a high dose of supplements, especially in pill form versus just a straight up powder form but that's something just to kind of keep in mind. Now, when it comes to the dosages of lion's mane, again, it seems like the research doesn't give a good estimate of what the best dosages are. The best thing to do is honestly take the advice of when you buy lion's mane of what the bottle says, or the package to start off right there. But usually with studies, you know, it can be anywhere from the, you know, pill form, if you're taking it in pill form from 250 milligrams a day to 750 milligrams a day, which is not very much, but in the powder form, they've also cited in the research where really they have seen where you've taken higher dosages of like 2.5 grams per pound, which seems like it's significantly amount. I wouldn't even go close to taking that much of lion's mane all at once. But remember, it is a mushroom and it's it's something that's edible, so it shouldn't be something that's really harmful. But I would just stick with probably what I usually recommend to a lot of my clients and patients and even myself included by taking it is starting out with something like two milligrams, especially the powdered form. And then, you know, if you find the benefits, bumping it up to four grams a day where you can also safely hit in that ballpark. But always be aware, really, if you're having any kind of side effects when you're taking the higher dose that you probably should stop it altogether or maybe just taper it down. Now, if you're getting any benefit in today's video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we talk everything about nootropics, ADHD health, and especially for adults with ADHD. And if you're an entrepreneur, we talk everything about entrepreneurs having ADHD and the tips and tricks around that. So you just hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that way you don't miss out any future videos. Now, when it comes to long-term use with Lion's Mane, like I said before, Lion's Mane doesn't really have a lot of research as far as the long-term use, and there doesn't seem to be any side effects of taking it long-term Term. But what I think you should keep in mind about lion's mane, try to treat it like with coffee. What I always say about coffee is you don't want to take too much in a day, but just take a little bit. Like one cup of coffee a day is a good enough stimulant. Whereas lion's mane, especially the powder, you could put it in your coffee or put it in your smoothie and do that once a day and do it long term to have that wonderful boost of energy in the day and then also reducing the anxiety. And if you start seeing the effects kind of wear off from lion's mane, take a break from it for a month or two and then reintroduce it again. Because sometimes, yeah, the body can actually adapt to it. So if you're starting to find that, that's kind of rule of thumb, but there hasn't been much research out there that I can find that really shows that. And certainly, you know, for me, I kind of, I don't take it very long-term use. I'll use it sporadically whenever I feel like I have low energy, then I'll start taking some lion's mane and that's how I use it. Now, as far as how long does it take to actually get the benefits from taking lion's mane? The research typically will show that it takes anywhere from two to three weeks before a lot of the participants in the research has actually gotten results. But for a lot of my patients, when they're taking it, they'll find you know benefits within just the first or second week of taking lion's mane. So you can definitely aim in there. Now for me specifically, within that very first week, I noticed a slight difference within just that first week of taking lion's mane. And if you really wanna find out my experience of taking lion's mane for 30 days and all the experience from that, then you should watch this video right here, where I dive in all my experience of taking lion's mane for 30 days. So watch this next. 